Hi everyone, it's Miss Christy from East Pensboro Library, and I am here with our first virtual read aloud of the new year. The day Jimmy's Boa ate the wash. That sounds like a crazy story. So let's see what this is all about. And happy new year to everyone. The day Jimmy's Boa ate the wash by Trinka Hake Snowball and the pictures are by Stephen Kellogg. And let me tell you, the pictures in this book are really nice. So let's see what we've got. How was your class trip to the farm? That's what her mother asks her when she comes in from school. Oh, boring, kind of dull, until the cow started crying. And you can see her there. She's talking to her mom about the cow crying. A cow crying? You, you saw a haystack fell on her. Oh, you see a haystack fell on her. So she's just very casually telling her mom all about this crazy trip. But a haystack just doesn't fall over. It does if a farmer crashes into it with a tractor. Look, the haystack fell over because the farmer crashed into it with the tractor. Oh, come on, the farmer wouldn't do that. Her mom still doesn't believe her. He would if he were busy yelling at the pigs to get off of our school bus. So the farmer crashed in the haystack because he was yelling at the pigs. This just sounds like really bad. Let's see. What were the pigs doing on the bus? Eating our lunches. Look at the pigs all on the bus and they're just having a good old time eating everybody's lunches. Why were they eating your lunches? Because we threw their corn at each other and they didn't have anything else to eat. Like, come on, mom. I mean, don't you know what a field trip's all about? We took their corn. Well, that makes sense, but why were you throwing corn? Because we ran out of eggs. Out of eggs? Why were you throwing eggs? So they took the corn because they ran out of eggs to throw? We still want to go to the boa constrictor. Oh. Because of the boa constrictor. The boa constrictor? Yeah, Jimmy's pet boa constrictor. Look at the boa constrictor. Jimmy brought his pet on the field trip. Can you even imagine? Uh, what was Jimmy's pet boa constrictor doing on the farm? Oh, he brought it to meet all the farm animals, but the chickens didn't like it. So she just still is like, hey, mom, what's up? You know, everything's good. You mean he took it into the hen house? Yes, and the chickens started squawking and flying around. So the chickens went crazy. This sounds like a crazy, crazy field trip. Go on. Go on, what happened? Well, one hen got excited and she laid an egg and it landed on Jenny's head. The hen? No, the egg. And it broke yucky all over her hair. Look. So the hen laid the egg and it broke all over Jenny's hair. That is crazy. What did she do? She got mad because she thought Tommy threw it. So she threw one at him. What did Tommy do? Oh, he ducked and the egg hit Mary Ann in the face. This sounds like a crazy class trip. Oh my goodness. I think I've had some crazy class trips with some people who I know are watching this video right now. And when you ran out of eggs, you threw the pig's corn, right? Right again. Well, what finally stopped it? Well, we heard the farmer's wife screaming. Why was she screaming? Uh oh, look, I know why. Why do you think? I can see it right there. 
because I bet you that Jimmy's boa constrictor. Uh oh, there we go. We never found out because Mrs. Stanley made us get on the bus and we sort of left in a hurry without the boa constrictor. So they really don't know. Did I skip a page? Nope. They really don't know why she was screaming except that you see the boa constrictor eating the wash because they made them get on the bus very quickly and get the heck out of there. I bet Jimmy was sad because he left his pet boa constrictor. Look, she's putting her space suit on. Oh, not really. We left in such a hurry that one of the pigs didn't get off the bus. So now he's got a pet pig. Oh my goodness. Imagine going on a field trip with a boa constrictor and coming home with a pet pig. Boy, that sure sounds like an exciting trip. Yeah, I suppose if you're the kind of kid who likes a class trip to the farm. Look, Jimmy's coming to pick her up with a pig. And now they're going on another crazy adventure together. I can't even imagine. And there is the boa constrictor just happily living with the farmer and his wife. What a neat story. And a funny one to start off the new year. So Miss Christie made a boa constrictor. And it didn't turn out all that great, but I took a paper plate and just kind of cut it in a circle and I put some little googly eyes on it. So all you have to do is just grab some scissors and a paper plate after you ask and kind of just cut in a little circle like this. Make it a little bit thin and make sure that you know cut it the whole way around, keep it together, see so it kind of spiral like this until you get to where you want your head to be and now you have a pet boa constrictor. See how easy that was and then you just all I did was glue a little bit of red construction paper on there and put some googly eyes on it so that I could tell the story. Well have a happy new year everyone and I will see you again soon for another virtual read aloud and my son got me a special Christmas gift this year. A leather face mask because he knows I have a leather jacket. So remember when you go out don't forget your mask and everybody have a happy new year.